Johnny Knows at the Beach today is Lil Wayne and 2 Chains. You know those guys. Their new album, Collie Grove, is out now on Def Jam Recordings. Let's talk to them. Both of you, give me a name here. We'll start with you, Wayne. The athlete that you most remember wrecking one night, sending him off to the game in a really bad condition. Who's the guy? Give us a name. Boy, you know who used to get on that. Go ahead. You could give it to me if you, you want. It doesn't to have to be him. Boy, boy come with a it? book bag full of them boys. Your boy? Your boy, you bought the you, you bought the book bag full of the drink night when we stop. Boy. Stop. What? Boy, you know we knew that one. Stop. You know, he come he passing him. out the He tell him about your mom. That. How could I not expect I, that I after want, that? Yeah. I want to talk to man. just Wayne because it feels like Two Chains is getting in the way here. Yeah, like, I feel like Wayne crazy. wants to give everything up. Yeah, this dude crazy. He talking about he talking about old old Jay Russell, you know, Jamarcus. What's my Who boy you got for us, Two what's Chains? My, what's my boy name to play for Memphis? That was hard. He was hard. You know, play for me. He dropped a Honda. He dropped a hundred. He got to the league and he played for Cleveland the year before. DeWan Wagner. D Wag. Oh, man. D Wag. D Wag was the true. I feel like they took our question and just went somewhere else. Yeah, I I think you guys took our question. You took Jamarcus Russell and I was I didn't mean wreck the career with your party. <laughs> I just meant one night where you sent him to the arena one day. I didn't mean you wrecked the whole career. I just meant one night. You, you, well, you we don't wreck out. no career. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean one night that we like caught them? Direct and no, they're trying to say one night when them kind of people was kicking it with us and then they had a game the next day. Oh, so you can you can erase the Dewan and all that. No, 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 but so okay. the first person you said was kind of close, dude. Yeah, okay, you can erase <laughs> it. But I got you, I got you, J.R. Smith. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Jerry right, got the YM that. tattoo on his neck. Every time he shoot a free throw, you see that young yeah, money tattoo. Yeah, Jerry got YM tattooed on his neck. That's yeah. my brother for real. Yeah. Tell us about that night, Wayne. Go ahead, because you want to, because I can see it. I can see the smile on your face. No, I'm not. All I know is I'm not gonna. T I can tell you about a crazy night with me and Jr. So, this is very funny. Here to tell you it's true. So I was going to see. I was visiting a female. We was in Vegas, and I was and it was. I think All Star something like was was there or something that I don't. I think that's what it was there, and uh, we was in Vegas, and so I went to visit this person. This person had, I didn't know she was with him originally <laughs> there already. So she told him that someone, someone in this casino, one hit the jackpot. She told him that they, she told him that they hit the jackpot. So when you hit the jackpot, you automatically go go to the biggest suite they have. And she was in the biggest suite they had. And then she was like, so she had to leave that hotel and go to another hotel. That was what she told him. Whoa. Now she told me, she told me to come over. Okay, she was there with a female friend. Mm. He was aware of that. So she told him that the female friend was still there at that hotel, but she had to relocate to another one. So I was there in the room that night. And so all of a sudden, we in the bedroom too. All of a sudden, we hear the bedroom door open. Me and the female, we like, who is coming through the door? Cause her female friend was in the living room. So we like, what is she trying to get in the room for? Open. Who comes through the door? Jr. with his wife beat on. So he <laughs> like, so, he like, so she don't. The, now mind you, the female don't even know that I know Jr. So when we see each other, we like, what's up? Like, what you oh, was doing? No. What, where you went tonight? You know, I was like, oh, I was at such and such. Where you was at? Oh, she no. just in the bed looking like, oh my god. And so, when, so when he left, he left. He find he left out of there. I left out of there too. So, mind you, this is what this is the end. The the moral of the story. I was there going to see the girl. She was, she was doing Jr. bad, but he was actually coming back to the room to see her female friend because she told him that he was. Oh, he, no. She told him that oh, she no. was there by herself. Oh, no. It was just a big old circle. <laughs> Two chains. That is such a better story than what you tried to do before, where you were just, oh my God. The good part about the story is that 
I went out the next night and I saw the girl's female friend in the club and she was like, you know, she was wrong for doing you like that. Wow. I told her she shouldn't do you like that and so I went home <laughs> with the female friend that night. Okay. All right. <laughs> J.R. Smith ever talk about this? I mean, was it, or that, or that was the last conversation. Every other day. Okay, every other day. How you guys doing? Little Wayne, two chains. Are you, are you guys doing okay? Having a lot of fun? Yes, Poppy. What's up, Poppy? Que pasa, Poppy? <laughs> yeah, we got to hang, we got to hang out together. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy, I'm sure you got plenty nights like that. Plenty. <laughs> plenty of nights like that. I gotta tell you. <laughs> he said, hey, I gotta tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come in with your wife beater all the time, huh, Poppy? My, house, <laughs> my, my housekeeper right, got a Poppy's crush on Poppy's got something for you guys. What do you got, Poppy? Yes, what is the craziest night you guys have ever had in a recording studio? Wow. <laughs> you know what? No, they'll go there. They'll get there. They're, they're going through the catalog. Well, they're trying to remember. I'm so eating all the damn candy in the world. I, I mean, know. We don't have no crazy I've had some. Yes, I've had some crazy nights, man. Well, first of all, the boy got a skate ramp inside the booth, first of all. So, you know, I'm not sure if he's going to rap when he's going to booth or if he's going to skate. So that's, that's always, like, kind of like a problem with me. And then, like... Nah, we 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 you both know. have had some crazy nights in the studio, but it always it always ends up with some very very productive music. So hey, nobody talk about no music right now, man. We talk about the studio, <laughs> man. Well, studio where you do music, That's at, where man. You do music. <laughs> you know all that old stuff, like you know what I'm saying uh, parties in the studio, all that stuff that you see in movies and stuff like that. It uh, happens. Yeah, we did <laughs> we, we did that we did that. And, you know, it's kind of private. It's like we don't make them sign no paperwork because we try to sh display that we're real players. And, you know, we're not taking phones. But, you know, when they come around us, they leave with smiles. And th let's just say they could actually buy that car that Uber's in. But they just rather Ooh. just get in the Uber. And just, you understand what I'm saying? Oof. You understand where I'm going, I right? I got you. Yeah. So we make sure everybody happy, you know. Sir Trick a lot over here on the left. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm his DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too DJ. Come on, do this with you at the oh, studio no, one time. On. No, we don't Only one that. time. No, 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 you don't, don't need to be around us in the studio, man. It'd be, it'd be real foggy in there. You know what I'm saying? No, it'd be yeah. a lot of stuff going back to back in there. Uh, we're going to go for the end of 49 and a half. We're here at 49 years. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess that up. Kind of growth. Highly questionable. This broadcast from the Clevelander Hotel. Beautiful South Beach, Miami.